Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a faux locks in my hair and I'm excited to show you these because these are really cute and I wouldn't say they're the easiest to put in, but I will definitely show you how I did them. The hair that I used is actually, okay, I don't know how to pronounce it. I think it's like Made Beauty, M-A-Y-D-E. And it's the Island Gorgeous Locks in color OT07, which pretty much means that it is like a 1B slash 27 so like an ombre effect and the ends are curly i've had this hair in for about two weeks and i did individual method at the top about maybe three rows and then the middle part of my hair i ended up doing the um braid down and then just pull it in method the regular crochet method and i like it so basically with this hairstyle I can pull it in a ponytail and I actually did the back um, I did the back in singles and then as you can see I'll show you in a second but yeah I did the back in singles so yeah I could wear it in a ponytail and then the sides I did in singles so pretty much the perimeter like the back part I just did one each so these are all singles and these are all crocheted in now with this hair i really didn't like how all the curls uh, let me show you actually basically the curls at the bottom as you see it's like perfect it's just like well i didn't like that so what i ended up doing after i installed these is i took a flat iron and i just like i put it on low because this hair is synthetic so i put it on low and i just kind of ran it through it and basically they started to um some pieces are straighter than the other so it starts to not look like the same because i hate that uniform look to where it's all like like this and granted this is really pretty but i like more of a natural look and if they all look super perfect i'm like they don't look as good you know or not even as good it just doesn't look as natural so i was trying to get more natural with this hairstyle so yeah i did that and then also I noticed as time went by they kind of like um, stretch out a little bit by themselves but also this is the 16 inch so I was like you know what I wish that they came longer which I'm, I don't know if they do or not but the hair store that I went this was the longest that they had so what I did was I would take sections and I would pull it down and I would just use the blow dryer like up to right here and just and I would sometimes put it on cool and then warm, cool and then warm. But then I would just do that just to stretch it out and make it a little bit longer. But basically this is, as, this is how long they are. Yeah, so those are how long they are on me. And like I said, it is a 16 inch. Now, the thing is, do they tangle? Yes, they do. And sometimes you have to get to the point where you have to separate them and then like cut the stragglies off but they do tangle but it's not bad like every morning I like do my hair and it takes maybe about like two minutes because I'm, I'm usually just doing my baby hairs but also I'll just hurry up and kind of just separate it and I do oil my scalp with olive oil I use that on my entire body I love olive oil and um, so yeah I just put some olive oil in my scalp and kind of massage it in there and then do my baby hairs with some shea butter and then I just put my the real baby Judy drops what they call what are those drops called miracle drops you know the real baby Judy on Instagram those drops actually work you guys my edges are like really getting super super thick because at one point like I was literally pulling my edges like tight when I would do my hairstyles and I noticed that they were getting thin but yes the real BB Judy and I really feel like the olive oil and also shea butter has really helped grow my hair back but that's another video within itself but um basically with this hair I felt like I wanted it to be as natural as possible so of course I did the individual method and then the back I just braided it back now when I first actually started doing this hairstyle I was like you know what I'm gonna do the entire hair um, individual method but it is kind of difficult I don't know if it was just this hair but trying to get the hair through here it's kind of difficult like it took me longer than I expected in total this hairstyle took me about four and a half hours and that's because after a while I was like you know what forget it I'm just going to break the uh, middle part down 
but the pros of this hair the hair color is so freaking pretty like and it to me like it just looks so natural like it just goes into this ombre like well it's black and then it just ombres to like this blonde like a dirty blonde and i just really like it because it's kind of different you know and it it gives you that like rastafarian look that's what a lot of people have been telling me but i really enjoy it it's like somebody at my job told me it looks fun but i i'm enjoying this hairstyle um let me think of some more pros oh i mean you just get up and go and if you do it the method that i did you can just literally throw it in a ponytail and like i said if you decide not to do what i did and which honestly i would I wouldn't even advise not to do it, but like if you do it, make sure you do it on low heat with a flat iron and then just um, taking the flat iron and doing like this to kind of like loosen out the curls. Also, like when I would get a lot of frizz, like if you notice, I don't think you can see it, it's like little, it's frizzy. To me, that gives it more of a natural look. So I would just like do this with it to kind of like wrap the extra frizz back around on the locks and it just gives it more of a natural look if you ask me so to me the older the locks the the more natural that they start to become now the cons about this hair it is synthetic so of course it's going to tangle so it does tangle but like i said in the morning just pull it apart and if you have to like cut some of these like stringy parts off just cut the little stringies i don't even know if you can see it but the little stringies off and you know, make sure you oil your scalp. Make sure you're taking your taking care of your hair underneath. As you, if you see my old videos, you know that I, I love when I do like nat like hairstyles like this. I love for it to look like extremely natural. So I've just been taking parts, and as you see, my part is not like um, perfect, and I like for it to be not perfect because the dreads they just usually like parts of your hair just taken and then dread it. So yeah, anywho, uh, you want to take your hair, part it and take the crochet needle and put it through the crochet hair and you want to put it through your hair so you want to loop the crochet through your hair so it's going to now you have those two loops i mean not two loops you have those two pieces of hair or that that hair split in half and then you have your break your twist your lock I can't even talk I hope you guys are following along <laughs> but you have your lock so now the lock is in one half of that um, the chunk of your hair so here's the twist and the twist is in that one piece on the side and then that other piece you want to split into twos so now you have three pieces of your hair I'm gonna take that lock and push it back there and I'm just going to braid down my natural hair and just braid I braid under and overhanded but when I'm doing plaits like by the way you guys this is considered a plait when I'm doing plaits I just literally um just go I think this is overhand underhanded I don't know one of them but yeah, you want to just braid all the way down. And honestly, with my twist, I didn't, locks, I don't know why I keep calling twist, but I did not braid my actual hair all the way down. I would just braid like mostly down and then the rest of it, I would just twist. I do that because it makes it easy to take it out. Like when you take your hair out and you have to unravel your braids, Depending on how small you've created them, it's so much easier if it's already twisted at the ends and then it's um, braided at the top. It's like so much easier to take out. And with the ends, I did put some sealing butter and the butter that I use was shea butter. It's in the restroom right now, I'm flaking it out. <laughs> but yeah, you just wanna braid it all the way down. And then I always just Make sure I get the ends just kind of twisted. So then you have your twist and you're gonna to need to tuck this, your piece of hair that you braided inside of here. And the way that you do that is with your crochet needle. So what I've learned is when you go to, don't start all the way down here. You can do, well, you can do whatever you want. But for me, I've learned that it's so much easier when you start at the top. So maybe like an inch down,
so basically that's what i did as you can see you can still kind of see the braid i personally do not think that this hair was made for individuals because it is so hard to get the hair through with this but um just continue to do yeah. that personally i would advise that with this hair i personally don't think it is like really great hair to do the individual method i know some people have done it and for the person the average person that is not a super pro at crochet braids i'm gonna tell you it's gonna be really hard to do the individual method with this hair like it, it was so difficult that's why i ended up just doing the middle part of my hair just um doing the regular crochet method but you can definitely still try it again like some of mine as you can see the braid is kind of peeking out but it's not like really bad but i just decided i was like you know what i'm gonna stop and i'm just gonna do the individual not the individual the crochet method through the rest of the hair but basically you're gonna need to take your time um when doing the individual method and my advice you don't have to do three rows you could do like maybe one or two but um yeah if you want to try this hair out my advice if i was to do this hair all over again i would just do maybe like one row and do the rest crochet because at the end of the day like it still looks really natural like um throughout the middle and everything and a lot of people they were just like wow like your dress looks super good i'm like thank you <laughs> it took long enough and i thought this was going to be like maybe like a quick freaking like two hour situation but no it ended up being a longer than that situation but as you can see i'm feeling myself yes i'm loving these and i can't stop looking in the mirror like, by the way it's really easy to take out you just pull out your hair and mind you my hair is so freaking soft because i did um what did i use i well i don't even know i'll question myself i use the um shea butter and then i use um what do you call it i use shea butter and then i use um olive oil on my hair and it's like really soft let me go get some scissors really quick. so since i pulled out my twist i can cut this because this is all just the the um the lock but yeah so this is how i'm taking it out just cut the lock and then it's this little part well first you have to untwist your hair you'll see how i did it the reason why but just make sure to just um take your time with it it's really not hard though this is kind of how i did the method with the uh what was those i did spring twist and I kind of did a similar method. But all I would say, you guys, is make sure that you keep your hair moisturized underneath. So, like, what I did was I did, like, a, a treatment on my hair, like a, a conditioning treatment. And before I put these twists in, and then I ended up, um, what did I do after that? Oh, yeah, I put the shea butter and then the olive oil on my hair. And, oh, my God, like, my hair is soft right now. Like, I can definitely tell the difference between my hair and the dread because the dread obviously is like more kinky you know it's it feels dry and then my hair feels super moisturized so okay so i've taken out the braid after i do that like this thing will literally slide out and then here's the twist but yeah, this is the hair. And if you have any questions, just leave them in the comment box below. I'll try to get back to them. Until then, I will see you guys on my next video.